that. This is oh, a bar. No thanks, I can oh. manage. Here. Here you go. Oh, thanks a lot, but you shouldn't have bothered. No problem. Principal Ambrose? Oh, 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 I'm sorry. Uh, Good morning. You startled me there. Sit down, sit down. Thank uh, you, sir. Kobe Bryant and the Lakers uh, got me cold. Uh, so, uh, 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 how's my number one draft pick teacher? <laughs> I'm doing well, thank you. Good, good. Uh, I just want to uh, remind you that uh, you will be handling a homeroom section as its advisor and that you also have subject classes to handle. Oh yes, I'm already aware of these uh, conditions, sir. Good, good. You see, it's a uh, past teacher. Mm -hmm. um, kind of fell in love too much with that homeroom section, so... Uh, the best way for her to cut off the emotional ties is to resign. <laughs> what, what do you mean, sir? Those students need much time because they are the slow learners. Um, wait, that was too harsh. They were the distracted ones. They were more into the fun side of learning. <laughs> uh, okay, I see. <laughs> but don't worry, don't worry. I'm sure that you can handle them very, very well. Um, so, I don't want to take too oh. much of your time, so I don't want you to be late. Please, okay. please, go. Certainly. Oh, uh, <laughs> sir, yeah. before anything else, oh. are there any other computer units aside from the one that you have here? Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, it's right at the heart of the faculty room. Heart? The, where? I haven't seen it. Uh, you see, the heart chip has a tip on it. <laughs> oh. Oh, okay. I, I guess I'd better go then. Thank you very much, sir. Uh, one more thing, Miss Maya. Um, before you go inside that danger zone, I just want to teach you the two most effective ways of disciplining the students of San Isidro Elementary School. Okay. Tip number one. The knock on wood three times technique never fails to catch the attention of any student. Okay. <laughs> Tip number two, the most powerful the most effective disciplinary technique. If things go chaotic or uncontrollable inside the classroom, all you have to do is look them straight in the eye and tell them, I'll tell Principal Ambrose. It sends shivers down their little spines. <laughs> okay, sir. Thank you very much for yeah. those tips. You're I, welcome. I You're better welcome. I better go. <laughs> yes, I don't yes. want to be late. It's, I think it's almost time. Yes. <laughs> Thank you, sir. You're welcome. <laughs> Where was I? <laughs> ah. How's your first day so far? Is everything okay? Uh, no, it's not going so well. Um, which section are you in, by the way? Oh, um, it's five Simpagita. Oh, is that your homeroom class? Well, yes, but... But, well, what do you mean, but? Are they too noisy? Is your class too big? Uh, I hear that in the progressive schools, you handle pretty big classes. Well, perhaps not as big as this. Well, yes, but of course they're noisy. I mean, they're not known as the most notorious class for no reason, you know? I mean, in fact, I heard that the last teacher who handled that class, well, he almost had a heart attack. Oh. Was it an aneurysm? I'm not really sure, but it was one of those things. Hmm. Anyway, Miss Maya, you know, dealing with these kids is not an easy task. First, you have to show them that you care so they will realize how sincere you are. And then give them love, the one that boils straight from the heart. Oh my God. You know, Michael, my dear Archangel, the only thing that boils when I'm with these kids is my temper. I'll give you a tip, Miss Maya. You must show them your boss. You know, growl, bite them in the ear like a pit bull. Uh, 
all raise your eyebrows real high and speak in a loud and authoritative voice. Hey. You know, be strong and firm. I don't know about that. As far as I'm concerned, you know, I just show them videos related to my subject, and that usually catches their attention. Well, okay, I'm going to try whatever it is that you guys have advised me, but... Excuse me. Anyway, thank you for the advice. I will go. Mom, our subject is English, not P. And what made you think it was a PE class? What's your name, by the way? My name is Kenneth. I can say that it is PE because of the whistle. <laughs> well, I'm sure that all of you know that PE isn't the only place where we can use a whistle, right? Am I right? Yeah. Okay. So can anyone else think of any other situations where we use a whistle? Yes. For referees. Very good. For traffic. For traffic. Anyone else? Yes, in the back. For parlor games. For parlor games. Very good. And since you mentioned something about parlor games, we are going to play one right now. Yay! Okay, but before we play any games, please rearrange your chairs in the proper positions. Let me just write this down. Okay, so I don't think we're going to fit, so maybe it's better if we move all of the chairs to the side. Why don't we all sit here in the center so it's closer? Okay, you ready? Okay, here's what we're going to do. Each of you has to pick one piece of paper from this box. Oh, one at a time, one at a time, come on. Careful, careful, one at a time. Okay, everyone has one, right? Okay, so here we go. What we're going to do is you open up those pieces of paper, then you have to read what's written on that paper, but don't show it to anyone else. Make it a secret, just for you, All right? Now, the object of the game is to find the person or persons in the class that have the same word as you. But the object of the game is going to be difficult because you cannot talk to them and ask them what they are. All right? So how are you going to find them? Simple. All you can do to communicate is by making the sounds and also the gestures of the word, the animal, or the thing that is written on that paper. Understand? Yes! Okay. So, is everyone ready? Yes. Oh, you can't talk anymore, remember? So you have to do the sounds, okay? Ready? On my whistle. Go! Find your pairs. Okay. So no talking. Just make sure that when you find your partner, you go off to the side. Now to find your pair, okay? We have some pairs here. Okay, very good. You have the pairs over there.
Uh, no need to tell me that, Mrs. Navarro. I'm already aware of the situation. And uh, don't worry, I have the answer. So why don't you go back to your respective classes and let me handle this, okay? Go back. Stop, stop. Back to your classes. <laughs> Morning class. Good morning, principal. <laughs> sit down, sit down. Okay. <laughs> I told you it never fails. Uh, yes. <laughs> uh, Miss Maya, why are the chairs rearranged in this manner? Oh, it was part of the activity that I did with the class earlier. Okay. Are those two children acting like chimpanzees? Uh, yes. Uh, it was also part of the activity that we did earlier as well. Uh, you, okay. can, you can stop now. <laughs> um, uh, I want you to report to my office after class. I mean, as much as uh, you're doing a good job in uh, making five Sampagita more cooperative, uh, the other teachers are distracted by it. Oh. So uh, kindly lower the volume. OK, we okay. can do that, sir. OK. Thank you. <laughs> All right, goodbye, class. Goodbye. Okay. <laughs> Thank, Thank you, you sir. Yeah, you're welcome. <laughs> okay. So, class, how did you like the activity? Great. Great. Oh. Okay. I'm glad that you liked it, but from now on, if you have something to say, please raise your hand so at least the rest of the class can hear you as well, okay? Okay. Who has something to say? Yes. It was hard at first because we were not allowed to speak. But it was fun at the same time. Mm -hmm. Yes? Some were lost. Their elephants sounded like dinosaurs. <laughs> <laughs> wow. I must admit, it must be very difficult to sound like an elephant, right? Yes. But whatever the case may be, just imagine what it would be like if we didn't have a common language that everyone could understand. Right? Mm. It would would not be able to talk to people from different countries because we would not understand them. That's right, Abby. So you will see that if we weren't able to speak uh, a common language, then we would not be able to communicate with people from other groups. Just like what we did earlier in class, you would not be able to communicate with people in other groups and you would just stay within your own groups, right? Yes. We wouldn't be able to understand other nationalities because obviously they would speak Russian or Japanese, Chinese or Thai, while we only speak Filipino. Yes. But this is not why we have English, because more people can understand it. Just look at the internet. That is absolutely right, Joseph. It is really important for us to learn how to communicate in English so that everybody can understand us better, right? So. Are you ready for our next activity? Yes! All right, let's get to it then. See, if it wasn't that loud, Principal Ambrose wouldn't have heard it. But he was right there on the scene. Well, at least she left a note before she took my whistle. I admit it was quite noisy out there. But I believe she has a purpose by doing so. I heard the chairs were arranged differently. Maybe it was, um part of the lesson plan. Well, definitely. Because imagine she was able to make those kids from Sampagita cooperate. That alone is a huge feat. Well, it's actually an activity for those noisy kids to do what they like and to learn from it as well. Oh, noise is pollution, Miss Anne. No matter how you look at it, noise is stressful and distracting. Oh, my God. I bet she took the advice of Miss Mergy to just allow her students to do their own thing. Oh my God, because she can't beat them, she joins them. Oh. You see, Miss Maya, I know that uh, you're going through a lot, you're new here, um, you're coming from a progressive school, and all of a sudden you have to carry a lot of burdens here in our uh, school. And so um, I just want to make sure that uh, you're coping up just fine. Oh. Well, Principal, nothing to worry about. I'm coping rather well. Even if but you see, Miss Maya, our teachers here are very sensitive. Okay. I am very sensitive. We may be open to accepting new practices, but we also have principles to abide with. And one of them is that I hate noise. I hate it. 
to the very core. Okay. And haven't you noticed, guys? She moved her desk without asking any permission from Principal Ambrose. Why is there even a rule about the arrangement of our desks? Probably it stayed like this because nobody dared to rearrange it. Well, yeah, but it just shows that she's trying to cross the line too soon. Hey, guys, guess what? I just heard Mr. Ambrose telling off Miss Maya, and I have never seen him this angry in my life, ever. She totally deserves it. She totally deserves it. Oh, no, this is terrible. I'm sure Miss Maya has a good reason for doing things her way. I hope the principal would consider that. Yeah, I think so. Well, messing up is the worst thing that anyone can do on her first day of class. Well, you know what? I don't even think it's that bad. I feel that she's hiding some good potential under underneath that silence. Exactly. Same I mean... Greetings, teachers. Oh, okay. Is it just me, or did, it, did I just hear our most esteemed principal? No, Luke, it's your father. <laughs> of course it's me, Mr. Lozano. <laughs> anyway, can I have a question? I'm going to please proceed to the first floor. Thank you. Ah, oh, teachers, teachers, come in, come in. Thank you for uh, coming, uh, even at such short notice. Come in, come in. Have a seat, have a seat. Join us, join us. <laughs> join us, join us. Yeah, very good, very good. Um, thank you for uh, taking time for this meeting. I believe Miss Maya has something to tell each and every one of you. Yes, sir. I would like to apologize to everyone for the inconvenience caused by the noise during the activity with my class earlier, but... Uh, the thing is, uh, I can already handle it from here, Miss Maya. <laughs> Don't worry too much about your speech. Um, uh, Miss Maya and I discussed the issue earlier, and um, uh, I realized that uh, the root of the problem is that she took matters into her own hands. Um, uh, so, however, during my observation while she was doing the activity, or shall I say, facilitating the activity, I noticed that the grade 5 Sampagita was miraculously cooperative, and um, there was a remarkable uh, increase of interest for learning from among the kids. Nonetheless, I told Miss Maya that uh, as an educational institution, we still have standards to abide with, and uh, her actions earlier was obviously not aligned to that standard. So uh, according to our school policy, that is unacceptable. Then again, uh, while Miss Maya and I were talking, uh, she justified and told me that uh, given a standard curriculum, we can always uh, adjust by uh, introducing strategies and techniques of teaching that match a student's method of learning. And um, based on my observations in uh, grade five Sampagita this morning, it worked. They were participative. And so uh, I'm quite happy with that output. So uh, having said all that and uh, putting all those theories together, I have decided not to impose any sanctions on Miss Maya on how she disciplined her students. We, as teachers, should be creative for our students to be creative as well. She showed us that um, in order to discipline unruly students, we should get them engaged in fun and productive learning activities. Uh, this uh, learning is fun theory is actually a huge contrast from our traditional mindset of learning. And um, this mindset actually uh, helps build good relationships with our students and uh, encourages critical thinking among them. So teachers, do you have any more questions, uh, suggestions, comments? Do you like my barong? <laughs> <laughs> Yep. I hope you like the new intercom system I installed in the faculty room this morning. <laughs> Do you like it? <laughs> this is just one of the few technological innovations I have in mind for the school. So be ready for more. Okay. Okay. So, you may go. Thank you, Principal. <laughs> Good job. Good job. Hi, Miss Maya. Oh, hi. This is where I keep some of my most prized magazines. You know, mostly old issues. Mm -hmm. um, just stuff that I keep as memorabilia and all that. If you want to borrow some, you're more than welcome to. You know, they're just right here, okay? Okay. I'll see you later. All right. Yes, 
right at the heart of the battlefield. Where is it? I don't see it. See, the heart has a deep hole. <laughs> I'll be going on home. Aren't you finished yet? No, not yet. Uh, maybe I'll just stay here for a bit. <laughs> oh, okay, then. Then uh, I'll go ahead. Okay. Okay, have a good day. Yeah, you too. Take care. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. <laughs> Bye. Nice. Very nice. 